Hey guys, what's up? I want to show you how to stream to Facebook. It's a really cool thing. I've seen a lot of people doing it now, and I want to take you through the steps the way that I have it set up. There are several ways that you can do it, but one of the cheapest and easiest ways is to use a piece of software called OBS, Open Broadcasting Software. OBS, you can uh, download it for free for Mac or and PC and it works essentially the same on both platforms obviously the keyboard shortcuts are different because the keyboards are different but other than that it'll work the same as what I'm going to show you here one of the tricky things about OBS is you have to set up a scene you have to tell OBS what you want to record and what sources you want to use so for example here I have sort of a complex setup that I've created as a scene and you don't have to do this you could just use the screen only this is a great way to do screen recording like I'm doing now so for example if you wanted to create videos about your Photoshop documents or how you design something or be able to show somebody something else like a tutorial you can use this just to record your screen and you don't have to live stream it you can just record it as a file and edit it but it also is able to stream to several different online services first of all I want to show you how to set up a scene because then you can choose whether you want to just record locally or stream like a live broadcast this by the way this is OBS studio there are two different versions of OBS right now we have OBS classic which that's not what I'm making this video about I recommend OBS studio I've used both but I have a lot more experience with the studio and there's some features that are uh, not present in the classic version so what I have over here on the left hand side are my scenes like I was showing you and here on the right hand side of this section are the sources that are in that scene so if I go to screen and face you'll see I have a webcam and that pops up here so you can see my face and the screen so the screen is behind it I can move this webcam overlay anywhere I want this is something that's really cool that's really powerful about OBS especially for a free piece of software uh, you can arrange these scenes however you want you can have several different ones maybe you want to have you know like a split screen and have your your face or your camera wherever you want also you're able to add more than one source so you can do your own sort of camera switching in this piece of software you can do it live or like I said you could do it while you're recording some of the benefits about using a, a software like OBS is less editing I don't have to put in an overlay after the fact or record two different things separately I can do it all like this I think that it's helpful when you do streams or tutorial videos screen recordings to be able to see somebody's face to see a personality um, you can see them talking and see their gestures while they're talking about whatever they're trying to present you can do also some really cool professional looking things like this this essentially it's pretty simple even though it may look a bit more complicated I created this entire overlay in a, a single file I actually used Gravit which I did a live stream about recently and I had this chunk cut out right here just a circle I saved it as a PNG with a transparent background and it's as you see here it's an overlay image just as a PNG and I put the webcam behind it so I can move this webcam underneath it behind it which is really neat kind of position that however I want you can flip your camera you can add filters to your camera you can add filters to your audio um, I'll probably talk about my audio setup later on because uh, I have a, probably a little bit more complicated setup than than uh, than most people who are doing streaming at least that I've seen I've got another overlay here which would just be my webcam and that put it like a lower third here so I'm able to switch between all of these live and my webcam is is not very good as you can see I'm just using the built-in webcam on my PC but if you had an external webcam or USB webcam um, or any other device that you can tell OBS to use as a capture source you can do that and so it could be multiple things at the same time so you could actually do like interviews and have one camera on one person or like an overhead camera and you know, be doing something and then have a face camera you could do a lot of really cool things with this software so these are my different scenes I'll go into settings here and I want to show you 
if I go to hotkeys, I can assign. So there's just a quick key combination. I can switch between all of these. Uh, makes it really, really powerful and just like a, a a great way of being able to do this live while I'm recording or while I'm streaming with a quick key combination. I can act as my own cameraman and switch through my scenes. So once you get these set up, which by the way, to create a scene, you just hit the plus button, you give it a name, um, and that's all I have to do. It's not going to do anything until you add a source. Okay, so there's several different things that you can add as a source, like I, like I'm showing you here. This is an image, and it's made up of two different two different sources: an image, which in this case is a PNG, and a video capture device, which is my built-in webcam. So I added in those two things. You can rename them to be whatever you want so that while you're recording, you can easily see what you want selected, what you want on the screen, and what you want to be broadcast or recorded. You also have seen transitions. You can cut to it or you can fade. And let me show you that really quick. So um, if I switch scenes now, it's going to do a nice little fade, just like that. And you can tell how many milliseconds for the duration. I like just something really quick, so I put it on cut, and I can jump back and forth to these. There's lots and lots more settings, but I hope that this might help somebody just get set up. So to live stream to your Facebook page, first of all, you have to have a Facebook page, not just a personal account. Go to your Facebook page. If you don't have one, go ahead and create one. Uh, this might be something good to do if you're really wanting to get into live streaming and use Facebook as your platform to present your content, which I'm actually planning on doing that. So look for that to come. But what you want to go to is the publishing tools. So you have this tab right up here called publishing tools. I'm going to click that. Then on the left hand side bar here with the links, you have videos and then there's a plus icon that says live. I click that and it's going to give me the server or stream URL and my stream key. Now this is a unique stream key. I believe that it generates a new one every time you want to create a live video broadcast on Facebook. So I would grab this, do a copy, then in OBS I'd go to my settings, go to my stream tab, and here I've chosen Facebook Live as my service, and I would paste that in right here. Once I have that pasted in, I click Apply, OK, and then I can click Start Streaming. Now you see that now says Stop Streaming instead of Start Streaming. And back in Facebook, I can click Preview. And in just a couple of seconds, this should show me a preview of a what of I am currently streaming. And I'm going to turn down my computer audio just so I don't get feedback. And there it is. So it tells me that's a preview. I can give it a, a video title. I can put in some video tags. Now this doesn't go live until you click the blue go live button. Then you're able to share this on other social media if you want. You can copy the link and share it in groups that you may be involved in and get your content to your audience. If you don't want to go live right now, and in this case that's what I am going to choose to do is to discard this current live stream. So I would have to do this process again if I wanted to go live on Facebook in the future. Get the stream key, go back to OBS, go to settings, go to stream, choose Facebook Live, and paste in my stream key. Hit apply and start streaming. That's pretty much it. So setting up your scenes, selecting your sources. If you have any problems with audio, you have to do the same thing with audio is tell OBS what audio you want to capture. And you can cop capture from your webcam, you can capture from an external microphone or from your desktop, meaning that the audio that's coming out of your computer, you can also capture. Now on Mac, you're going to need something like Soundflower or an external sound card to be able to do that. So doing it on Windows is, is, is very easy. I also use an external sound card. I use the XOX KS-108. It's a, a very inexpensive sound card and it makes it very easy to do live broadcasts because it has lots of different inputs and I can get a volume knob for my computer audio 
and record all of it at the same time. So I recommend that if you want to do live broadcasting. It's not that great for music recording, but it's great for live broadcasting. So there you go, guys. I hope that helps you get set up to recording your desktop as well as many other sources and getting it set up for live broadcasting for Facebook. I'll talk to you guys later.